Star Wars movies, Disney boss Bob Iger speaks out on franchise's future after solo flop. Disney boss Bob Iger has revealed the number of Star Wars movies will slow down going forward. Last Christmas The Last Jedi hit cinemas and became the third Disney Star Wars movie in a row to break the $1 billion barrier. Since the House of Mouse's acquisition of George Lucas franchise for over $4 billion, there's been a Star Wars movie every Christmas since 2015 as The Force Awakens. However the studio decided to release Solo, the second spin-off film after Rogue One, less than six months after The Last Jedi. The film, which cost over $275 million to make after the directors were replaced, made a disappointing $392 million worldwide. It seems there's just too much Star Wars at once for fans and casual moviegoers alike. And now in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Disney boss Bob Iger has admitted that the volume and frequency of movies in this franchise has been a mistake. He said, I made the timing decision, and as I look back, I think the mistake that I made I take the blame was a little too much, too fast. Nevertheless going forward Iger wants to slow everything down a touch. Iger continued, you can expect some slowdown, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna make films. J.J. Abrams is busy making Episode 9. We have creative entities, including Game of Thrones creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, who are developing sagas of their own, which we haven't been specific about. And we are just at the point where we're gonna start making decisions about what comes next after J.J.'s. But I think we're gonna be a little bit more careful about volume and timing. And the buck stops here on that. Back in 2017 Iger revealed there are Star Wars movies planned for after Episode 9 going into the 2030s. He revealed, we're starting to talk about what could happen after Episode 9. About what could be another decade and a half of Star Wars stories. Star Wars Episode 9 is released in UK cinemas on December 20, 2019.